welcome to the drive to 295. I'm Jeff Parsons, and this is my vlog where I rant, rave, bitch, moan, wax poetic on my drive home from one city center in Portland, Maine, to the on-ramp of the I-295 highway. Yeah, I guess that's what you call it. Uh, wax poetic. What the hell does that mean? I don't know. It just sounds good. So anyway, it is Monday, May 3rd, 2010. I guess I'm going to file this one today under a rant. So this weekend, I went grocery shopping. First of all, I hate, hate, hate grocery stores. Nothing against the grocery stores themselves. I just hate the whole experience of having to go and do this because nothing is ever where I want it. But it's even worse when you go to a grocery store and the whole layout makes no sense whatsoever. I went to a particular grocery store, which I will not name, but you might be able to figure it out. Um, and everything's like backwards. I walk in the door, and I'm in the deli. Which is like, no, 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 not in the deli. No, I walk in the door, and I'm in, it's the exact opposite way. I should be in the deli, or the produce section, or something like that. No, no, no. I'm in the, like, frozen food section. And it doesn't make sense, because you'd think that would be the last thing you'd want to get. Oh, wor no, worse than that. <laughs> now, and see, now I'm trying to remember the layout of this thing. You walk in the door, and you're actually kind of in the middle of the store. To the right is the frozen stuff, and it's a big store. So to the right is the frozen stuff, and then to the left is the produce, all the way to the left. And then everything else is just mumbo-jumbo in between, all jumbled up. I don't understand this. And then Calabash11 on Twitter, I'd ranted about that there a little bit. And he replied to me that this particular grocery store, for some reason, they decide that they're going to do it backwards from everybody else as far as their doors. They, they have an entrance door and an exit door on opposite sides. The entrance is on the left, and the exit is on the right. Well, no wonder. This is, everything we do is right and left. You drive a car, gas is on the right, brake is on the left. You... Uh, I was ta taught in elementary school when you're walking down a hallway. And I still remember this. Like, and I constantly do it to this day. You walk on the right, they pass you on the left. It's just how we flow. So you would think you would normally walk in on the right and exit on the left. No, not in this place. So that annoyed me all to hell. And then there were other particular things in the grocery store that just kind of pissed me off too and annoyed me. First of all, there's a fire lane. All grocery stores have them. They're for fire trucks. In the event of a fire. Not for, hey, I'm going to pull up and run in and just grab a few things and just leave my car here island, and then I can go and get my stuff and then get out real quickly. Or I'm just going to drop off my wife so I can sit here and play on my iPhone while she goes in does the shopping. No. It's a fire lane. If there's a fire, a fire truck needs to get there. There are no parking signs. There are barriers. There are big yellow stripes. Don't freaking park in the fire lane. Thank you. And then, there was a guy that, uh, that had a mobility issue. He was one in, in one of those chairs with a grocery basket attached to it, those motorized deals. And he asked for some help out with his groceries to load them. And they were happy to help, but it was kind of like they had to shut the store down to do it. They had to pull a guy off a register to help somebody out, close down a register and do this. Now, I worked at a grocery store in high school, and back then, and here I am sounding like an old man, back in my day, uh, everybody's groceries were taken out to the car and loaded by the person that was bagging them, and every register had a bagger, and I was a bagger for many years, and we all used paper, and it was so much easier. In fact, we had separate carts that you would load up the bags on to take them out to the car, and it was no questions asked. It was like assumed you would take the groceries out to whoever was shopping, take them to the car, and place them in the car for them. It was a courtesy. It was a, hey, thanks for shopping with us. Here you go. I understand there's cutbacks. I understand it. But, but still, you would think that that would be a, a given that there would be people there to help people out to the car with their groceries. It just, I mean, granted, this was, when I was doing this, this was 1986. So a lot of time has passed. But still, that'd be a nice little courtesy for your customers. And I guess that, you know, in, an, in defense, the grocery stores, they will do it if you ask. But like I said, they had to pull a guy off a register to help help get this guy 
loaded in. Granted, it was also late at night. That might have had something to do with it, too, but anyway. So there's my little rant about the grocery stores. Lay it out right. I want everything in sequential. And another thing, don't put, put your, put your peanut butter with your bread. Put your peanut butter with your bread. That, what are you going to use peanut butter for? Bread. Put it with it. All right. I'm at the exit. Thanks for watching. I'm going to hopefully do this on a daily basis now. So uh, follow on YouTube and also check out uh, the JeffParsonsProject.com and click on the Drive to 295 link. I'll see you tomorrow. Say you will, say you won't. Make up your mind.